Hey, if you've built a custom design in a Fusion Assembly, it can be tough to visualize how your parts are going to go together, especially if there's multiple movements. Like this, I'm going to have it snap in and then twist and lock into place. I want to make sure that everything moves correctly and collides as I designed it. So here's what I do to make visualizing easier. I'm going to go up to inspect and choose section analysis and use a really quick section just to make visualizing up here a tiny bit easier. I'll click OK. Now I'll go up to assemble. I'll choose as built joint. I'm going to use as built because they're already designed in place. Click the two components that you care about and choose revolute in this case so that it can twist. Put my snap point here. Looks like it's twisting in the right location. That looks great for now. Next, I'll go up to inspect and choose display component colors. I'll get two different colors for my parts. I'm going to go over to the analysis and this is where your section analysis lives. Turn that off for just a second. The next thing I want to do is create a section view that allows me to see from up above a little bit easier. So I like to just select the top face, drag it down to where I can kind of see where these two are going to be sliding into place close enough. I can always edit it later. Click OK. One limitation of the section view is that you can't do multiple views. That's such a bummer. And that's why I want to show you this next tip. What we're going to do is sketch exactly what we want to be seen. So I'm going to select the face down below or this the plane. I'll create a sketch and I'm going to sketch only what I care about. So I'm going to use two lines to section off the zone that I want to see really well. I'll do these two angled lines and now I'll go to the command split body. I am at the assembly level. Just a reminder, I'm activated at the very top level so I can see both components really well. Do a S for search, do split body. The bodies to split are these two components. I'll choose both. Next, I'll go to splitting tools and I'll select these two lines we just sketched. Click OK. It now splits this up for you. And this is all for visual purposes for us. I'm going to hit V for visibility, and that will hide that part or that body. I'll hit V again up here. It hides that body. And now I can see this really well. I can see where this would slot in or down. I'm going to rotate my part so that I can see how this would slide down. And now I'm going to watch it slide over. So it's going to snap into place. So the split body can be incredibly helpful when it comes to visualizing. If you'd like to use it later, simply right click on the feature and do suppress. Suppress features will not delete it. It'll be grayed out in your timeline, allowing you to reuse it in the future, but it's great for visualizing. And next thing I definitely want to check is in the inspect interference. Just choose the two components you care about. Hit this little compute cycle. It'll tell you if there's some, looks like we've got some interference. Kind of there's a fillet right at this edge where the other part's going to hit. It might be okay for the 3D print, but if I want to make sure there's a nice, easy clearance there, I could go in and design around it. And one other visualization trick I love, come down to this little monitor looking icon and go to visual style. I love to switch to wireframe. Wireframe can be great for visualizing how two parts go together and give you a different perspective of how these work. Hey, if you're looking for additional tips on Fusion, I've got a bunch of different cheat sheets. They're all free. Go download them here. I'll put the link down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.